Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about Tiger Conservation, National Tiger Conservation Authority, Project Tiger and Tiger Reserves in India. Before moving further, now let's learn what is the importance of Tiger Conservation in, in India and also throughout the world. This tiger is the top predator in the forest ecosystem and it occupies the topmost position of the ecological pyramid as being the top predator. Okay, And also the tiger is one of the keystone species. This keystone species here in architecture there is a concept called keystone this keystone supports the entire arch and the surrounding structure of the building okay so this is the keystone and if you take out this keystone if you remove this keystone the entire arch along with the surrounding the building structure would collapse so this this provides stability to the structure similarly in the forest ecosystem as well as any other ecosystem there are certain species which acts as a keystone Okay, these species are called keystone species. For instance, if you take out the a tiger or if you destroy all the tiger in a forest ecosystem, then that may lead to the ecological collapse, okay, ecosystem collapse. So, for example, uh, if there is no tiger population, if there is no top predator uh, like a lion, tiger and leopard in the forest ecosystem, that will lead to the multiplication, the rapid multiplication of the herbivores like deer, antelope and other herbivores, this may pose huge burden on the vegetation. So this multiplication of the herbivores may bring the ecosystem into collapse uh, because it may not provide the proper time for the regen regeneration of the forest plant species. So because of their huge strength okay, in the absence of the predator. So to maintain the balance of the forest ecosystem, the top predators are essential. So the tiger is one of the top predators and also the keystone species. So we need to conserve the tiger in order to maintain the ecological balance. So this is the concept of keystone species. So Indian government has been uh, undertaking various important conservation strategies and also uh, undertaking various policies and programs for the tiger conservation. Important among these is the project tiger. Project Tiger, that is a centrally sponsored scheme, and also uh, the maintenance of tiger reserves throughout the country. There are 47 tiger reserves in the country, and also the establishment of National Tiger Conservation Authority. First, let's look at the National Tiger Conservation Authority. It was a statutory body under Ministry of Environment and Forest, constituted under the enabling provision of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Okay, this was constituted under Wildlife Protection Act, Act 1972 for strengthening the tiger conservation. It was established in 2005. Okay, for it was established in, established in 2005 following the rec recommendation of the Tiger Task Force. And Project Tiger is older than that of the National Tiger Conservation Authority. Project Tiger was established in 1973 itself. Please remember. Okay, this National Tiger Conservation Authority was established in 2005. And the important objective of the National Tiger Conservation Authority is to provide statutory authority to Project Tiger. So, to provide statutory authority to project tiger so that compliance of its directives becomes legal with the statutory authority. Okay. And it fosters the accountability of the center state, center and the states in management of the tiger reserves. Okay. They provide a basis for memorandum of understanding with the states uh, in, within the federal structure for the conservation of tiger, tiger in the country. Okay. And it provides an oversight by the parliament because it is a statutory authority and it addresses the livelihood interest of the local people in areas surrounding the tiger reserve. So if any of the person uh, dies or any mis mis mishap happens, that those person will be compensated by the National Tiger Conservation Authority and precautions will be taken uh, to prevent that thing happen further. Okay, This is it about the conservation authority. Now let's look at the project tiger. It is a centrally sponsored scheme. Here, this provides central assistance to the state uh, in the maintenance of the tiger reserves. Okay, it was launched in the 1973. It was started with only nine tiger reserves in 1973, and then it grows to 47 tiger reserves present. Okay, it spreads across 18 states of India. Okay, this amounts to about 2.08 percent of the geographical area of the country. Okay, the total uh, tiger reserves in India. And these tiger reserves are constituted on a core buffer strategy. Okay, there is a uh, this concept is also similar uh, in case of biosphere reserves. 
Here the core area is the main area of concentration for the conservation strategies. And this core area is the area where the tigers are located and all the important uh, forest species are located. And the buffer area is present, is surrounding the core area. Okay, And this acts as a buffer between the non-forest area and the core area. So that to prevent any uh, interference into the core area. Okay, so this is this the tiger resource uh, are constituted on the core buffer strategy, whereas the core area is provided the legal status of a national park. Okay, all the production that are given to the national park are also extended to the tiger resource core areas, and the buffer area acts as a uh, transitory zone uh, between the core area and the uh, non-forest areas. So this can be used for various multiple use, multiple purposes. So this is the project tiger. Now let's look at the important all the all the tiger reserves in India, so that it, it can be helpful for the prelims examination. Okay, in Andhra Pradesh we have Nagarjuna Sagar Sri Salem tiger reserve only one. Okay, and in Arunachal Pradesh we have two. That is Namdafa and Pake. <coughs> Excuse me. In Assam we have three tiger reserves. That is Manas, Nameri. And Kaziranga tiger, tiger Reserve. In Bihar, we have Valmiki Tiger Reserve, and in Chhattisgarh, we have three. Okay, Udanti Sitanadi, one, Achankmar, second, and Indravati, third. These three are in Chhattisgarh. And in Jharkhand, we have Palamu Tiger Reserve. In Karnataka, we have five tiger reserves that is Bandipur, Bhadra, Dandeli Anshi, Nagarhole, and Biligiri Ranganatha Swami Temple Tiger Reserve. Okay, these five in Karnataka. In Kerala, we have Peri, Peri, Periyar and Parambikulam. These two in Kerala. In Madhya Pradesh, we have six tiger reserves. That is Kanha, Penj, uh, Bandhavgar, Panna Tiger Reserve and Satpura, Sanjay Dupri. These six are from Madhya Pradesh. In Maharashtra, we have Melgat, Tadoba, Andhere, Penj, Sahyadri, Nevagao and Nagzira and Boar Tiger Reserve. In Mizoram, we have Dampa, Dampa Tiger Reserve. And in Odisha, we have two, Simlipal and Satkosia. Okay. In Rajasthan, we have three, Ranthambor, Sariksha, Mukundara Hills. In Tamil Nadu, we have Kalkad and uh, Mundathirai, Madhumalai Tiger Reserve, Satyamagalam Tiger Reserve, Annamalai. Okay. In Telangana, we have two, Kawal and Sri Salam. This, this shares uh, certain area with it. Telangana, Sri Salam Tiger Reserve. Okay. And in Uttar Pradesh, we have two, Dudwa and Pilipit. In Uttarakhand, we have uh, Jim Corbett Tiger Reserve. And th that is Ama Amangar. This acts as a buffer for the Jim Corbett Tiger Reserve. And also the Rajaji Tiger Reserve. And in West Bengal, we have Sundarbans and Baksa Tiger Reserve. Totally, there are 48 Tiger Reserve. Sorry, I mentioned 47 in my previous slide. There are 48 Tiger Reserves in India. This is the recent information and this is the uh, geographical spread of the tiger resource in India. Here important uh, Dandeli, Badra, Nagarhole, Bandipur, Biligiranganath Swami Temple in Karnataka, Satyamangalam, Madhumalai, Annamalai in, uh, in Tamil Nadu and all, all these things. Please if you want pause and uh, look at these things and now let's look at the initiative taken by the Government of India in Tiger Conservation. Okay, there are a lot of initiatives undertaken by the uh, government of India. This include Wildlife Protection Act 1972 was amended in 2006 to provide for the enabling provision for the constitution of National Tiger Conservation Authority. Okay, and the constitution of a multidisciplinary tiger and other endangered species crime control bureau, also called as Wildlife Control Bureau, crime control bureau was constituted to provide uh, more protection to the uh, tiger and also to prevent illegal trade in the wildlife okay in 2007 that is wildlife crime control bureau and a scientific methodology for estimating the tiger okay including the co-predators like leopard and lion uh, prey animals and assessment of habitat status has been evolved scientific met methodology has been evolved by government of india and mainstreamed so that better conservation strategies can be taken up and india has a bilateral understanding with the nepal government on controlling transboundary illegal trade in wildlife and conservation okay apart from a protocol on tiger conservation with china so this will help internationally in protecting the tigers okay and a protocol was also signed uh, with the bangladesh government in september 2011 
for the conservation of Royal Bengal Tiger of the Sundarban, so that we share the Sundarban area with the Bangladesh. So protocol was signed uh, with the Bangladesh as well, and we have agreement with the Russian Federation. Okay, a subgroup on tiger and leopard conservation has been cast constituted for cooperation with the Russian Federation, and for protection of the tigers within the tiger reserves, the new special tiger protection force is a force which uh, prevents the tiger uh, poaching in the tiger reserves okay uh, for tiger conservation and in collaboration with the traffic india online tiger crime database has been launched okay this provides information sharing and generic guidelines for preparation of reserve specific security plan has been evolved okay and m stripes that is monitoring system of system for tiger intensive production and ecological status has been launched for effective field patrolling and monitoring for field level coordination and monitoring and hedge in Canada hedge means pug mark okay it is an indigenously developed on right based application launched at Bandipur in 2014 it provides the coordinating strategy it coordinates the foot level so workers okay for a staff in better uh, coordinating their activities okay it provides other things including the range forest officer provides live updates of their respective anti-poaching patrolling activities such as patrol time water level in the lakes suspicious activities tree population and forest fires so these are important things india has undertaken in the tiger conservation recently 2014 the tiger census was uh, undertaken so this is the recent uh, numbers related to tiger presence in india let us estimate show that 2226 tigers are present in india that is 2014 numbers it is compared to 2010 numbers in 2010 it was only 2706 tigers so there has been drastic increase in the population of tigers in india in the last four years for four or five years and india accounts for 70 percent of the world's tigers so all over the world only 3000 tigers are present out of which 2226 are present only in india okay this is this is we are the major tiger country okay and among different zones western guards has the highest population of tiger in india okay they account for 778 uh, tigers and among the states karnataka accounts for the highest number of tiger in india that is 406 tigers okay and uttarakhand even though it is a small state it accounts for 340 tigers okay uttar pradesh 117 bihar 28 ap 68 chhattisgarh 46 madhya pradesh 308 okay this is about tiger census